good afternoon students today we shall discuss um, the discrete particle system so in previous class we discussed uh, liquid uh, polymer system that is how the uh, three dimensional model will be manufactured by using uh, liquid polymer system so today in this uh, session we shall discuss uh, uh, how 3d uh, object or 3d model is manufactured by using discrete particle system so in this system um, uh, the discrete particles or the uh, powders uh, uh, which are normally powders that are graded into uniform size and shape and narrow distribution so before manufacturing the um, particle is uh, converted into fine grains of uniform uh, size and um, narrow distribution the next the finer the particles uh, the dimensions get too small in terms of controlling the distribution and dispersion so the conventional 1D channel approach uses a laser to produce thermal energy in a controlled manner to raise the temperature sufficiently to melt the powder. So here uh, they are using laser uh, beam technology in to uh, increase the temperature of the uh, discrete particle system or the particles uh, so that it gets fused together. So the polymer powders must therefore exhibit thermoplastic behavior so that they can be melted and remelted to permit bonding of one layer to another so here uh, the main working principle is uh, when the laser uh, beam uh, so this laser beam is a uh, thermal laser beam it is a heat producing uh, beam uh, when this beam falls on a polymer powder this polymer powder gets heated that is it gets heated and it, it will fuse up so um, we have studied in our uh, previous classes thermo uh, plastics so the thermoplastic behavior is when it is heated it should become soft and when it is cooled it should become hard so this is the basic principle of the polymer powder the powder which we are using to manufacture the three-dimensional model uh, it should possess this basic principle that is the principle of thermoplastic behavior so in this method there are two main uh, manufacturing systems one is uh, selective laser sintering technology uh, it is marked by 3d systems and second one is eos int process developed by german company eos so we shall discuss uh, selective laser sintering uh, method working principle so here uh, in the figure you can see that in uh, there are three uh, uh, tables in middle table the uh, laser beam is being uh, um, hit on the uh, polymer powder so when the laser beam is hitting on the polymer powder the uh, specific amount of polymer powder gets heated and it will become um, solidified in uh, left side uh, uh, there is powder feed that is it will continuously feed the polymer powder uh, required for the 3d manufacturing and in right side chamber there is a, a chamber which will collect the excessive powder um, present in the middle chamber so a thin layer of heat fusible powder is deposited on through the part building chamber the bottom most cross sectional slice of the CAD part under fabrication is selectively drawn on the layer of powder by heat, heat generating carbon dioxide layer that is CO2 layer the bottom most uh, layer is applied with the uh, laser beam and uh, it will get heated the interaction of the laser beam with the powder elevates the temperature to the point of melting fusing the powder particles to form a solid mass so when the laser beam is hitting on the uh, powder it this powder gets fused to form a solid particle the intensity of laser beam is modulated to melt the powder only in the areas defined by the parts geometry so the intensity of the laser beam is controlled based on the requirement so that only in the places of the um, specified required places the uh, po polymer powder should melt in the adjacent um, polymer powders it should remain as powder form only so like this the laser beam uh, is controlled surrounding powder remains loose compact and serve as supports when the uh, cross section is completely drawn an additional layer of powder is deposited via roller mechanism on top of the previously scanned layer so in um, we can see that in left side uh, chamber there is additional feed 
roller that is it will continuously feed the polymer powders when the cross section is completely drawn an additional layer of powder is deposited via roller mechanism on top of the previously scanned layer so when the um, three dimensional model is completely drawn um, now an additional layer is deposited so that um, uh, there may there should be uh, there exist uh, differentiation between uh, two components so this prepares the next layer for scanning and steps 2 and 6 are repeated with each layer fusing to the uh, layer below it that is uh, again the uh, steps are manufacturing steps are repeated to manufacture another three dimensional model so this model will be of same dimension here this method is used to um, manufacture three dimensional model of same cross section of uniform cross section that is this method is uh, useful for mass production when the mass production is required so this process is employed that is after manufacturing one product uh, one layer is uh, prepared on on it and the manufacturing of another component is started on the above component so successive la layers of powders are deposited and the process is repeated until the part is completed so this process is repeated until the part is completed so this is how they manufacture a three dimensional model by using a selective laser sintering method thank you guys